Well, hello on this Monday morning, Monday the 18th of November 2024. Welcome along to another Nikki Black Labrador Series 2, Episode 109. And on this occasion, this one is very much me and Nikki time with a lot of play and a lot of tricks. Some of you might like to use some of the tricks I'm demonstrating on here slightly later in the film. But this starts off on the day, which is normally a Tuesday, when me and Nikki have time on our own when the wife goes to um, Asda. So that's what this film's all about. I'm sure you'll find it entirely different to what we've done before and entirely different to the park. So that's what you've got coming up on this film. Hope you enjoy the film and I'll come back after the film just to finish off. Please subscribe and leave a comment and of course a like. I do want comments. It will help me steer the channel. So enjoy and I'll be back after the film. It's a Tuesday and just having some time with Nicky, trying to keep him calm, trying to calm him down a bit. Been a bit boisterous recently. So me and him when this happens is what we do is we have some me and him time. And I love his bone all day because he'll chew it. And just trying to occupy him and try and calm things down for a day. And maybe try and do some kind of obedience or something. Because I think it's essential. He's had a lot of excitement in the park. And the wife is out of Asda at the minute shopping. It's an opportunity to spend some time with him and, uh, you know, just keep him calm for once. He's been showing a few naughty traits that we don't like. And a bit boisterous. So I think it's about time calming down. You have to make the rules up as you go along. He's not going out today. He can't go out every day. But, um, we're going to try and take him on walks and different bits in the future, but we will let him have some exercise at least twice, three times a week. Because I think a big dog like this needs it. I know from experience. But just at the moment, he's quite okay with this uh, bone. He's enjoying it. So that's the main thing. The more patience you show with a dog, the better you'll get out of it. That's the way it works. So, just why it takes him back. I always let her know what's uh, going on with him, you know. So, but sometimes it's good when you have a one to one. We seem to be doing a lot of playing together, me and Nikki, and lots of things together. And that's good because it means that he'll take notice of me more. But he does, you know, take notice of the wife. Sometimes I just tell to watch your voice. Oh, I see. You've got to talk yourself. You silly dog. Well, some people need a throw. Not surprised that Labradors eat things at speed. They certainly do. Always be very careful in the park, especially with sticks and things. He's not had any sticks. I think Nicky's coughing just at the moment. He's been a bit greedy with the uh, bone. Um, because it, I've seen them where someone's lost a dog. It's gone right down the throat and uh, the vet's not going to save the dog. So that's why I don't let him, I'll discourage him. He might see on the films playing with sticks. I always take his blue ball, and he seems to love playing with that, as you've seen. What are you doing now? 
Hey, do you want this bulb? Hey, well, that's what I've done, you see. So you have to. You've got to be in charge of the dog. It's an animal. And, like I say, if you can be calm with a dog, especially a Labrador, you'll get a lot more. Because her earrings twice what her earring is. So, maybe three times. The sense of smell is incredible. You may have seen on traffic cops. All these are dogs, you sniff your dogs and things. All right, on your program. But, um, meanwhile, he's, he's really enjoying this bone at the moment, so that's good. Good for his teeth. As I said before, you can buy these for two forty nine on Amazon. Proper bone with nothing in the middle of it. You used to get Marabones years ago, but you can't seem to get them. Years ago, you used to get Marabones. So, but, um, no, these are just as good. And it'll do him good, it'll scale his teeth, save you a fortune in the long run. When the dog gets older. Alright, Nick. You're a good boy, aren't you? You're a good boy. Bits on the mm, yeah, hey, plenty of bits on the Nicky. Usually buy them a fresh one each month, and he chews them. You can give them pig's ears as well, you can buy some gold pig's ears, which she hasn't tried yet, but you can give them that as well for chew. Anything like that, you can give them to chew. But I haven't tried them with Nikki. I know they're all right with my past previous dogs. But you've got to keep changing things because you do get bored. That's one thing that does happen with them. But labs are chewers, and if you can give them something to chew that's like a bone or something that you should be chewing instead of something that you shouldn't be chewing. Because they can do a lot of damage and a lot of ripping up. Ripping paper up. They don't care whether they're ripping your magazine up. They don't care whether they're taking wallpaper off the wall. They don't care if they're ripping, uh, destroying things. They don't care if they're chewing uh, wood or anything. It's a natural thing for a dog. So you're far better having something like this. I recommend highly in the morning the, the Denko stick. Does the teeth good? My previous dog had them all his life, and his teeth were as good, just as good when he put put down than what he was when he was younger. Anyway, that's a long story. Hello, there you go. Had enough, bud? Hmm? What do you think? You've been a good boy. Has Nicky been a good boy? Yes. Nicky you've been combed as well, haven't you? Has Nicky been combed? Yeah, you've been a good boy. I love it when they're nice and quiet like this. It shows the temperament. They're gorgeous when they're like this. He's had a lot of excitement on the part recently. He's thinking, what can I do next? That's what he's doing here. That's what he's doing, thinking what I can do next, isn't it, Nick? Oh, yes. We'll see what we can do, Nick. Yeah, we will, Nick. We'll see what we can do. And you're a good boy. And you talk to him, and you see how he moves his head. He's, he's fully engaged. When you talk to them, they're fully engaged, and when you've got the control of the animal, really, when they're like that, it's lovely. It's a lovely court, isn't it? Hey? 17 months old, and now he's thinking, oh, I'd like to get such a thing. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens next. Somebody's being a big baby. Upside down baby. And it's amazing how many Labradors 
like you're scratching the back or, or underneath like this or on his chest and um, I think he still wants to um, chew the bone I think that's the favourite the position he's got himself into so I'm just trying to do what I can to uh, occupy him at the moment sometimes they've got their own ideas sometimes your plans do not go as to plan but it doesn't matter as long as he's occupied the wife will be looking after him this afternoon because um, I'll be cleaning in here so she will be looking after him you've got to do what you can but he gets himself into some situations and he likes you holding the bone for him and uh, scratching his uh, back or his his chest so depends what kind of mood he's in you, you can you can vary can't you Nick like all animals alright you got it then you're going to eat that now are you you got oh you the idea of eating it yourself that's a good idea Nick yeah it's ok we've run out of drops haven't we hmm i have to get the vet to eat some more, won't we? No, he holds those biscuits in the ashtray. Along with the cotton wool. And uh, that's what he's after. Leave. 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 Here. You're not having the cotton wool. Here. Come on. What's this? This will keep him occupied for a bit. The longer you can keep your fist closed, the better. You might get a wet fist, but it, it keep him occupied. He's got to work his way to get it out. It's like Gimlin and Puzzle. And uh, he's going to work for this because I'm not going to give it to him. I've got to find a way of keeping him occupied. I can do all kinds of things with this fist. I can go round and round. Yeah, he's got to, now, he's, now you've got him thinking when he does that. He's thinking, what can I do to get it? Touch. Touch. Real concentration here, Luke. Now he's wondering what's going on. See, it's still there. In the paw. See, that trick will work? No. I'm going to make you work for this. Yes. You won't bite me. I have every confidence in him. Oh, that's a big problem for you in this one, isn't it, Nick? You weren't too easy before. You have. Try your best, Nick. See, this is it. You need to occupy the brain. And if you can do this with your dog, you're doing very well. Because I can do anything with this dog. Keep him occupied for ages. What's daddy got? What's daddy got? You still not got it. Have you? You still not got it, Nicky. No. No, Nicky. Look. I'm still here. I'm not bothered about him sniffing my hand and being gentle. I'm just keeping him occupied. Mmm, I see. You don't always get things as easy as that, do you, Nick? Hmm? Do you, Nicky? This has really stumped him because by now I'm used to give it to him. Yeah, well, we're going to do this a bit, aren't we? Mm, you've got to earn this, Nick. You're not going to get it quite as easy as you usually do, Nicky. Mm, now we're really thinking. Now he's really concentrating everybody. Yeah, touch. I'm trying his best to get that out of my hand. Hmm, I see. Hey, good boy. Yeah, of course, yeah. You're a good boy. Hey, good boy. Yes. You're a good boy. And no, I'm not teasing him, I'm making him think. 
you can look at this two ways. I'm making them think. Yeah, I know you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd cry for it, but we're going two seconds. Wouldn't it? You're a good boy. Yeah. I really got him thinking. Look at that face and the concentration in that face. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's going back to licking paw now. He says, I'll take my mind off it and he might give it me easier. I can see what's going on in that doggy's mind. But he was the... Oh, it was the Nick. Oh, yes. It's still there, Nick, isn't it? Yes. Good boy. That made him think, didn't it? Yep. Don't think there's any more. Oh, there is. Hmm. Okay. You did see you like that. I really got him thinking. I really got him thinking this time. How did I get it last time? Mm, let him work it out. Let him work it out. It's his food. He'll get it taken off his food later on. You can use bits of the food to do tricks with them. And he'll get this taken off later on. Concentrating, aren't I? You calm you down a bit, Nick, won't it? Hmm? Calm you down a bit, Nick. It will, Nick. Yeah. I don't mind, Nick. I'm confident in you, Nick. You won't hurt me. Will you? You'll never hurt his dad. No, he won't. He's such a good boy. See? He's a bit occupying his brain. You can buy little things that you can put things inside. Bits of food and stuff, but we didn't find it worked very well the last one we bought, so we've not bothered for a while. We'll see what the wife brings back from after. She always brings in something back. Come on. You've been a good boy. You have been a good boy. Very patient. Yes. Mmm. I see. He's trying his hardest here to get it. Oh, he's trying his hardest to get it. Come on, up, oh, up. Oh. That's a good boy. He won't fall. I won't want him hurting himself. Mm. But yes, I've got him occupied. Good style. And it's contact. And they love contact dogs. You can have it now. There's a good lad. There's a good boy. Yes. What a bone. Is that a bone now? What a bone bum. Bum bum. No. There might be something on the chair. Now what? Out of the window. Leave. Leave. Good boy. Good boy. Look at him standing up there like King Dog. Good boy, Nicky. Good boy, Nicky. Yeah? Now what? Now what, Nicky? Now what, Nicky, now? Eh? There's nothing left. You're not having any of this stuff. All I've got here is a bit of chew. That's all I've got there. You got it? It might come in handy. It could be alright, it's me. Recent, it was in the ashtray. So I'm just doing everything I can now to really um, occupy him. Oh, nice, 
They're nice. Never throw bits away. Obviously don't leave them lying around for weeks. Because that's when they become dangerous. But never throw things away because they'll always go back to them. And now this is well and truly got him occupied. And I'm so happy because it makes it a damn sight easier for me. You've got to think about making him happy and also making it easy for yourself. I do lots of filming on obedience and sometimes you've got to sit down with them and do something together and you'll get far more out of the dog if you do that. Sorry about the dirty camera lens, I don't know what's going on here. Needs a clean. There you go. Kept him occupied. Together with the boisterousness, he's going to occupy him and calm him down. He still gets put out boisterous. But he is doing well with the dogs now. He's enjoying that now. Ain't it then? Mum? Ain't it? Give me it. Come on. Good boy. This is the man and dog bond again. Working so hard together. There's a good boy. There's. Oh, I see. It always ends up on the deck when he kid, doesn't it? What are you doing that for? Come on, eat it. Eat it then. Do. Do it. Want this? No? Want this? That lasted five minutes, but. Try to do different things, you see. You want this? No? What do you want then? You can only do it for so long. Oh, he's going back to it. Go on then. Eat it. Eat it then. Good boy. Eat it. Good boy. Sometimes you've got to experiment with them. And, uh, I'm sure he'll eat it. Eat it then. Good boy. Is that nice? Is that nice? Is that nice, Nick? I love it, mate. I love to be like this and things so quiet and so relaxing. But dogs can be very rewarding and very relaxing if you spend the time. Some people might find this video boring. Some people might find it very interesting. Depends on your perspective. I want to get this dog as he's good in the park or everywhere else now. As good as I can to make him as easy as I can to deal with. And for him to be happy. And that's what most people want out of the dog. I see. You drop it again. He thinks, well, Daddy might pick it up for me. Okay. Daddy might pick it up for him. But there's going to be a catch this time. You watch. Thank you. Right. Catch is. I'm going to do this again. Come on then. Come on then. I'm trying to get it now. Come on, try to get it. I can put my hand in this dog's bowl while he's eating and he won't bite me. I see. He's trying. He's pulling it now. He's pulling it out of my hand. You got it? He's eating it? There's a good boy. There's a good boy. There's a good boy.
yeah, as I was saying, your perspective on what you want out of a dog. I was brought up with guide dogs. And of course, you know, I, I did guide dogs. And I want my dog to be happy. I was in excitement. But I want him to keep be so I can rely on his obedience to control him. Especially in dangerous situations. It's proved time and time again in the park that it's worth it. But I'm glad he's so happy at the moment and so relaxed this morning. But that's what it's all about. I've been used to working hard with the training. And making the dog happy. Because a Labrador will love to please you. Most breeds will. You can have your poodles, they're very intelligent. You can have your labradoodles, they're very intelligent. If they've got two intelligent brains together of two breeds, sometimes they work very well. The guide dogs use Labrador cross retrievers and they're very good. So, you know, it depends on what you're breeding to the dog and what his uh, pedigree is, where he started, where his line started. But at the moment, I'm very pleased with this Labrador because he's very, very concentrating and he's very peaceful and he's very quiet. He's having a look round, but why shouldn't he? You want to try this now, eh? You going back to your boat? Eh? Go on, what do you want? What then? What do you want? Look at his head. What do you want then, Nick? Well, that's me. You know, why be stressed up and shouting at them? You yeah, know, there's the thing you can do to a dog, you shout at them. You raise your voice in time. When it's time to raise your voice. A whistle is another good thing, and a clicker. Like this. We've never seen this child before. You can buy a clicker. Like that. And a whistle. And I put them on this, this uh, what came with it. This is the cord. And it's easy to get to when it's needed. I think you quite enjoyed that, didn't you, Nicky? Eh? Didn't you, Nicky? I think that ball is a bit too heavy for him. I've got to try and dig his other one out. It went somewhere. It's always disappearing, that ball. He has several toys that he likes to play with. And he's looking at me, he's, what next? What do you want me to do next, he's looking at me to say. So, we'll have to see, won't we, Nick? Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. So there's only me that does this kind of thing with him. It's him. Um, He's happy because he's got me attention. Yeah. Good boy, Nicky. Good boy. What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Apart from standing on your head. What are you doing now, apart from standing on your head? Eh? Yeah. Put that in your mouth. Go on, put that in your mouth. Good boy. Here. Back to bone. You back to bone? No. You might want to go to sleep now. You want to go to sleep? What are you doing? There's nothing on the ashtray. It's empty. It's empty. Look. Empty, look. No? See? Always does that. See? Look. Nothing's anything left in there. 
You know? All gone. You know, with my phone, it's just swollen on the floor. It's a good job, it's got a thick case on it, isn't it? Hmm? So now what? Are you going back to the board? Hmm? Are you going back to the board? Are you going to eat that board? What? It's born. It's okay, born. He's thinking what to do next. He's thinking what to do next. Hmm. I see. Probably we'll get off the chair now. He's always ball now, aren't you? Yeah, sitting there with your ball in your mouth. Hmm? Aren't you? Yeah, go on then. Try this. Go catch it. Go catch. Nicky. 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 Ready? Ready? See if we can catch it, darling. Catch. Catch. Oh, it's too heavy, that. Isn't it? It's too heavy to do that with. It's not like the other one, is it, Nick? What's on to your rugby ball? Oh, hang on. I know what it likes. It likes this as well. Hey, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Look at this. What's in that mouth? Lick. Lick. If a dog doesn't lick your fingers, there's something in the mouth. Hmm, okay. This is the problem with Labradors. They get like this sometimes. Yep, they get like this. Good boy. Anyway, he might, only well, might, go to sleep because he's been much harder at the moment. Since the wife went out at half past nine, it's now nearly 11 o'clock. He's on the I wonder around what to do next. Good boy. You're not going round the routine. Leave. Leave. Nicky. Good boy. Come on. Come here. Come on. I don't know what's doing it. Only daddy's fault. Ah, you're not having that piece of cotton wool that went on the floor neither. No, you don't. It's just after what you can get. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day just at the moment. Having a few issues with the camera. Well, that's it for another uh, Monday. I'll be back on Friday with another film. I've been quite busy building a new computer this past week. So I was glad that I had this film recorded. Or, in the middle of it anyway, recorded. We often record... That was recorded on the 5th of November. And um, that day, as I remember rightly, around here was not that good. It didn't go out. I think I was busy anyway. But it was a good recording. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching my channel. And I'll be back on Friday.